Bible Fest is a homecoming for a number of people that live in Door County, much less Sister Bay. This weekend is an opportunity, kind of one of the last big weekends as far as retail and restaurants go, that really brings people to Door County. Um, depending on how the leaves are doing, the colors, it's either fantastic at the peak of their colors or things are winding down and so people come up for the last big weekend before it gets really cold in Dork County. started as a party for the locals at the end of the season. Kind of like a, hey, let's get together and celebrate all the hard work we've done over the year, of course, the last year, um, and has morphed into an arts and crafts fair, a parade, the longest parade in Door County for the year. Food, nonprofits selling food and beverages as a, one of their biggest fundraisers of the year in Door County, which then helps them help the community with that the rest of the year. And um, socializing, activities for the kids, just a myriad of, of fun for a weekend. Oh, we've been coming many years, many years. I brought her well, the last 14 years, and I've been coming up here for 25 years at least. Uh, just a great time, especially when the sun is shining. We live here and we like to watch all the tourists. It's a, it's a festival to celebrate the end of the season. I really wanted to see the parade, and it's really fun to get all the candy. And um, it's, there's a lot of yummy food here, too. Uh, the nonprofit organizations in Door County come up and run food tents, food and beverage tents, and they have volunteers that come from all over Door County. The community gets involved. The parade is open to anybody. If you wanted to run, uh, your, decorate your car and come in, you too could be in the parade. Um, it gives the schools, the local schools, Gibraltar and Southern Door, uh, a chance for, to practice with their marching band. We have pumpkin pie in a cup. Beautiful pumpkin pie in a cup. And two Bloody Marys, two Bloody Marys, and a beer. So great. And with friends, having fun. Awesome. We visit the vendor booths, look at the arts, crafts, have some beers, eat some good food, enjoy the, uh, enjoy the area. The whitefish sandwich from the, the top of the door, snowmobile club. Yeah, it's good. I highly recommend it. And we wear a different hat every year. We try to get a little funky there. This is my um, Mexican flair. Fall Fest brings anywhere from 5,000 to 30,000 people, depends on the weather. I had one retailer who's been in business in Sister Bay for over 20 years tell me that for the 65th Fall Fest, he had never seen so many people because it was 65 degrees and sunny. And then we have years where the die-hard Fall Festers come and it's sleeting down rain and people are in snowsuits. Fall Fest is sort of a survival of the fittest festival and really does bring locals together at a festival. Is that in my teeth? Is that it, seriously? No, I can't say it. Let's just wait. Nah, it's making sure. How are you guys doing? Where are you, where are you from? Where are you, no, where are you from? Here. Oh, you're from here. I love here. Here's a great place. I like, I like being here. 
I'm Husbies. I'm and the Bull. Happy Fall Fest 2011. Yeah.